Now, Brandon, obviously there are losses that devastate programs really psychologically hurt teams and carry over into the next season. And we could, we could cite a number throughout history that appear to do that. That's kind of conjecture because it's, we, we can't get between uh, the, the ears of coaches and players, but it, it seems to have derailed some, some programs in the past, whether it be on the NFL or on the collegiate level. Um, other than this being a bit embarrassing and not uh, the type of uh, performance that Urban Meyer is used to or this Ohio State program under him is used to on a national stage, I can't imagine that this is going to be anything more than maybe a motivational tool uh, as Urban Meyer likes to have those. And it was difficult coming off of 2014 into 15 to have that. Uh, and then with a young team that not was expected to win a national championship. Maybe he's got the motivational tool that he needs. Well, and it's kind of funny that Clemson, just like in 2014, it seems like it's going to be the team to get Ohio State out of a certain rut that they had. Um, going into that Orange Bowl, the defense was kind of, you know, it was very lax on tackling, lax on coverage. Um, Everett uh, Withers was the defensive coordinator with uh, Fickle, and they just didn't seem to mesh um, Clemson came into that Orange Bowl and just gashed the uh, secondary and gashed that uh, defense. Uh, right away, uh, Urban Meyer made the change. You know, he brought in Chris Ash uh, to change up the uh, defense. Since then, the Buckeye defense has been great. So we come into this game. Um, we've kind of seen for the past two years with the offense led by Warner and uh, Tim Beck that the offense has been struggling quite a bit at times. But with the talent they have, they've been able to pull out games that maybe they shouldn't have. Uh, go to Clemson. Clemson just annihilates the um, offense, makes them look silly. And so what does Urban Meyer do? What he did last time against Clemson um, after the loss, he immediately made changes. Tim Beck left to take the offensive coordinator job at Texas. He brings in Ryan Day to be the quarterback's coach, which is a big thing for the Buckeyes when you consider they got JT Barrett uh, coming back. And then they've got a bunch of young, um, talented recruits coming in. I get a quarterback coach like Ryan Day is a big deal for them. Um, and then you add in that he went out and the rumors are that he's bringing in Kevin Wilson to be the offensive uh, coordinator uh, who was, you know, just dominant at Northwestern, dominant at Oklahoma, dominant at um, Indiana as far as the offense goes. I think he really will be able to push that offense to the next level, sort of like Chris Ash did when he came in. Um, and then pass it off to Greg Schiano. So um, I think while the loss really stung, and it still kind of does, it was, I, I think it was kind of for the best that they lost in that fashion with the offense struggling that bad because it shows how much change needed to be made. And Urban Meyer is not a guy that's afraid to make changes. So again, it's Tim Beck to Texas. Uh, it's uh He's joined to back up, of course, with Tom Herman there. Kevin Wilson, uh, you cite the three last jobs that he had, uh, offensive coordinator at the first two stops, of course, head coach at Indiana, where he was building a very strong program that was competitive in the Big Ten East over the last couple of years, maybe not necessarily in winning games, but uh, in being very competitive and pushing Ohio State, Michigan, and the like, Michigan State uh, winning over the Spartans this year and pushing Penn State to the fourth quarter, but obviously some off-the-field controversy there, taking Kevin Wilson out of the mix at Indiana and Ryan Day, 15 years of NFL and collegiate experience as a quarterback's coach, most recently with the San Francisco 49ers. All right, Brandon Zimmerman from the Buckeye Battle Cry joins us each week to talk Ohio State football. Brandon, uh, it will be a long off season. Unfortunately, we root for college football, but it's the shortest of the major sports season. That means it's the longest off season. So we'll have much to talk about in the coming weeks. Sounds good, Mark.